Rock of Virginia, 96.3 ROV with John Boy and Billy in the morning, the classics and today's best rock all day. My name is JD. Thanks for listening. A huge experience of an event is at the Roanoke Civic Center right now, specifically at the Roanoke Performing Arts Theater, the Blue Man Group. And we are excited because Kirk from the Blue Man Group is on the show with us right now. What's up, man? Hey, man. How's it going? It is going well. You guys just had opening night last night. I've already heard reviews, even from Joe Johnson, our afternoon guy who got to catch it, that said it was fantastic. Um, how long have you been with Blue Man Group, and what do you do in the performance? I started about 2005, and I am an actual blue man in That's the show. That's awesome. <laughs> now, I-, I was expecting you then to be to bleed blue. Is, are, are people disappointed when they meet you and they, they see that your skin really isn't that color? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> I mean, but it's, it's all right. Now, um, what exactly is the Blue Man Group for people that don't know, and how did it start? Uh, that's a great question. It's something that's really hard uh, to describe to someone, and once you see the show, you'll understand why, because then people are going to ask you, well, what, what was it about? You're like, uh, I'm not sure. The The best way I can come up with, if you were to combine rock, uh, theater, vaudeville, art, science, comedy, and like a crazy dance party, and then just kind of made all that explode into space, that's basically what the show is. <laughs> that's awesome. Now, and, and one person actually even told me that saw it last night, um, a buddy of mine, Kyle, said that it reminded him of like three stooges like 3000 years in the future totally i mean that, that's one of the things that very much influenced like our three founders who created the company oh, cool. was that sort of buster keaton Marx brother there's that kind of vaudevillian right. comedy uh definitely is a huge role into the show and that's something that they very much were into and it very much is reflected in the show and that's something that you know do you guys feel like you're kind of championing what was really like a dying art when you see a lot of these actors and stuff that are in movies or on plays and stuff they don't have and no offense to them but the physicalness i guess is the word of those type of performances where like if you're hit by something and you fall over it's not just falling over it's like the legs are flipping up your arms are flailing i mean is that much more of a performance aspect Uh, i I guess so like a little bit um our show's not quite and then that fan of like Vaudevillian is sort of like uh, mm-hmm. the next step of it. Like we don't have like the wacky sounds and like oh, the cool. flailing and all that kind of stuff. But it is a definitely physical form of acting because we never talk in the show. Like all of our uh, storytelling, all the emotion mostly comes for, from our eyes. But beyond that, it's all just purely physical. Oh, wow. And now there's a lot of themes within the Blue Band Group's um, of experience as far as on stage, correct? Right. Well, I mean, that's something that's uh, sort of great about us because we never actually say anything. You can kind of take what you want to from the show. And so 2,000 people might have 2,000 completely different experiences wow. or see 2,000 completely different things or no matter what sort of like your background or culture, it's sort of like um, you're reading a comic book and you're seeing all the action frames, but all the word bubbles are blank and you get to kind of fill that in for yourself. And that's sort of I think one of the reasons it appeals to so many different people. Sure. And, and that's one of those things, I mean, for me personally, is why I like a lot of music where the artist doesn't print the lyrics. Because, you know, the second you get like the lyric book, you pull it open, you're listening to music and then reading. But then it changes the experience. Right. Totally. I mean, this is, yeah, this is very much live by the seat of your pants type of a thing. And you get to sort of see what whatever appeals to you for that particular show at that particular night. And now within this performance that's going on at the Performing Arts Theater uh, for the next couple of nights, which uh, all the information, by the way, on the show is online at rovrocks.com. What will we expect from the show? Are you guys doing some of the rock stuff that you've done before, like uh, on the album uh, The Complex? We had like Dave Matthews and Gavin Rosdale was on it. Is this a mix of different performances kind of melded together? Or? Right. No, uh, that uh, whole album kind of uh, spurred from um – sort of a different experiment that we did where we took the blue man we're like what happens if we take the blue man and put them into a rock concert what would they do and we actually toured that show for a few years it's called how to be a megastar in the complex rock tour it's like tracy bonham like open for right. that show right? Uh, yeah awesome. she was a big part of the show but uh this particular tour is more like our actual sit down theatrical show where awesome. the band is no longer a visible like people you see behind us instead they're these crazy neon stick figures up over our heads playing really strange instruments, and there's no vocals, there's no any of that kind of stuff. Wow. It's more like the story of the character, introduction to the character, and his desire to connect to the audience, and it's that sort of a thing. Well, I, I definitely can say that this is an experience that I think everyone can get into. Um, is this something that, um, I mean, does it take a long time for them to build up the stage and bring all the lights and all that kind of crazy stuff in there? It, it does take a long time, but they are 
unbelievable machines when it comes to this. I mean, you know, how quickly they can set up. I mean, when they come in, basically they're building it all from like we have our own stage for that we put like down on fair. top of the stage. Yeah. <laughs> It's amazing how hard those guys work and how well they do that. I, I, it's something I could never do. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, Kirk, thank you so much for dropping by to talk with us. Uh, like I said, all the info on tickets, and uh, they are still available, correct? We are definitely looking to get see some folks out there in Roanoke supporting an awesome event. Blue Man Group tonight and tomorrow, Roanoke Performing Arts Theater. Kirk, thank you so much, man. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. <laughs>